Okay, so first of all, my PC specs are the CPU i7-8700 with 16GB of RAM and the GPU GTX 1080 Ti. Now, RPC Easter works mostly with your CPU, so that is the, the best factor for how much performance you will get with games. So, before we get into settings, we're going to go into RPC S3 Wiki. Uh, this is the site that shows you uh, the, the most important settings for maximum compatibility and performance specifically for each game. So, this is for Sonic Unleashed. These are crucial performance to get no graphical glitches and the best performance possible. So, we're going to go into RPC S3, right click on Sonic Unleashed, change custom configuration, and over here, we're going to actually uh, disable TSX instructions because this is what it says here. With it on, it's gonna enable the, uh, the game to freeze, and we don't want that. So we're gonna disable it. Just do all the settings as follows. GPU, we're gonna choose frame limit to off. Uh, all of these these are important as well. Synchronous texture stre streaming is crucial too. For the uh, multi-threaded RSX, this is mostly for high-core processors, so, ch so check how many processors you have. Uh, I tried playing this game with 2K and 1080p. Both don't work very well and lowers the frame rate really bad, so I'm just going to play with the native resolution, which is here. Okay, then we go to Advanced, and Relaxed Z Call Sync is on, and Driver Wake at Display, which is here, to 200. After we did, we did all of this, we're going to apply, save custom configuration. Then we're going to go to manage, game patches. We're going to click on only show owned games. Then we're going to choose Sonic Unleashed, this one, and we're going to check all of these because these are all also in crisp performance. Disable in depth of field, dynamic shadows, motion blur, and real time reflections. Now, uh, dynamic shadows and real time reflections do hinder the looks of the game a little bit, but it's for the performance gain, so what you can do. Okay, so after we did all of this, we're going to right-click, boot with custom configuration. I'm going to show you how the game runs. It's not perfect 60 FPS, but it is the best we can get for uh, this hardware, at least. I'm just going to lower the... Okay, throw the lower it. Pay attention to the frame rate here. I'm going to show you how much it is. Okay, we're gonna load a file, but I'm just gonna click a new game just to show you guys how it runs right from the start. I'm gonna skip through the cutscenes. Here it's above 60, but it's a cutscene, so we're gonna see the gameplay. Here we go! <laughs> this is one's better than on the actual PlayStation 3. This in some instances it's much better. Let's check the hub world. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it is in the native resolution and it does still look fantastic. I mean, this game looks great still to this day. Yeah, so it's not stable 60, but there are instances where it even reaches above. Let's do Windman Isle Act 1, 2, I don't remember. Act 2.
Here it really dips. <laughs> I think it runs beautifully. All right. Sweet. Now let's also also check a little bit of the Warhog stages. I'm not going to show you the whole stage because I don't want this video to be three hours. Even here in the hub world, it runs pretty good. I think it's still better than the PlayStation 3. Let's check it out. Again, I'm going to skip the cutscene. Alright, even here it runs pretty good. Yep, that was great. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope it helped you, and this is going to hold us out until Sega is going to make a, a PC port for this game. I really want it.